My name is Katia Blanc and I run a public relations agency and personal branding agency with my partner and I am elected at the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Marseille-Provence too. You have to keep in mind that the first thing an employer will do uh, is to Google you. So it's a simple example to show that uh, it's obvious that what is going to, uh, to pop up uh, is the first impression they'll have about you. Building a strong personal brand um, allows you to uh, communicate about what you really are and it's based on your, uh, your authenticity, uh, your inner self, your vis vision, your goals, your mission. It's not only uh, marketing, personal marketing. The most important is uh, your authenticity and your inner self and what makes really you and what makes you unique. And uh, it's important to understand that your behavior can have a great impact and uh, as far as uh, recruiters are concerned, for example, uh, they will check on you on social media, so it's important that they understand who you are, what you have to say, what makes you unique. There are many ways for students to, um, to connect and to know about the organization they desire. Uh, first thing, of course, is to Google them because you can get many valuable information about the companies uh, through, a search, uh, through th search engines. Um, and you can go through uh, job sites uh, such as Glassdoor because uh, it holds a growing database of millions of information and uh, about uh, company reviews and this information is shared uh, by uh, the person who know the company best, the employees. So it's a good, uh, a good way to uh, have uh, valuable information of uh, what is really true uh, inside the company. How you, uh, you work in the company, is it a great company offering uh, uh, many things, etc. Et um, if you try to connect with HR managers, for example, um, it's quite easy with social media, but you have to be careful, of course. Uh, you can connect through um, when you answer a job offer, because sometimes they are uh, the email, but you have to be careful because uh, you have to stay formal and not interact too much because it would be awkward um, and you can uh, have a bad image then um, you have first before connecting an HR manager or recruiter you have first to think of who he is or who she is uh, it's a dif there are differences between internal recruiters and external recruiters internal recruiters are paid by the company and they're not on your side uh, whereas external recruiter uh, have the same goal of you. They want you to be employed in the company so um, they can be of some help uh, to uh, communicate better about your skills and how you could fit in your organization. So you have to think of it before connecting the recruiters offline or online. And you can uh, and the first thing to know is that before connecting them before thinking of the how, you have to think of the what, what you're going to say, what you're going to tell them or ask them. Um, if you don't manage to connect them uh, easily, you can try LinkedIn because recruiters are very open to, be, uh, to enter in connection uh, with students or people in general because it allows them to have a growing database of candidates and um, it avoids them to pay the extra fees of LinkedIn uh, to, uh, to access uh, the database. So they are quite open to, uh, to make connections. And if it's not possible, you can also uh, use uh, the tags or the hashtags uh, to make connection with the company or with the recruiter. 
but you have before to be very very careful to be sure of what you're going to say and to be sure to have previously built your strong personal brand and uh, to establish your messages and you know exactly where you're going what are your goals and what you're going to say because it can be very dangerous and uh, you can damage your brand if uh, you're not ready uh, to connect uh, properly. Building a personal brand and building a personal uh, professional path uh, is a continual process. So uh, it's important to keep in mind that your brand uh, is the way uh, people see you and how you are perceived. And it's a long term uh, process. Uh, it's not a one shot thing. It's not just because you're looking for an inter internship or your first job that you work on it and then it's enough. I'm in the company. so. I don't work about it, no. Um, and students have to keep in mind that they work for their um, long-term objectives. How um, they see themselves in five years, in ten years, where they want to go and they build their brand and uh, their path, uh, keeping that in mind.